like that you know, it's a bit of a new wave coming into the series and uh, you know we're starting to get some good results. We're both young, we both both let it hang out a little bit more than probably the others, um, you know, because we're young and wild, you could say. Dan is, like, as you see him on TV, he's a lovely kid. Obviously, he's got a great future ahead of him, and I'm sure that he's going to be world champion in the near future. About him? I don't care. <laughs> I like the way he rides. I think he's got pretty cool style. Uh, he rode really well in Australia. He's obviously the Australian champion. Yeah, Jack's doing really well for, um, for, for himself and, and for the country, and hopefully uh, he can be up there in the end. I don't look at anyone down the pits. You know, I'm here to do my job. I'm here to race for myself and chase that dream of mine. for that one you know it's massive I think 55,000 people it's in Poland it's you know where the sport's the biggest. It's really hard because this is a, a track you don't ride on every day so you're trying to like find the lines find the cambers find the right see if the track's gonna cut up and then you gotta add you know 45 50,000 people it's uh, it's quite a rush. Rock solid Jack Holder's been this evening. Superstar there. Had a good gait in the semi-final and you know popped out and yeah made my first final and I, I couldn't believe that I was happy just to just to get anything in the final. Jack Holder, absolutely fabulous moment for him. So there we are then the finalists. Jack Holder in the inside. First final debut in the final, of course, for Jack Holder. Can he win it like Dan Beauty did last year in Garden? What a moment that really would be. Holder's made a great start on the inside. Lingren chops right back. Gets his nose in front. Holder and Lingren down the back straight. Here comes Doyle around the outside. Jack Holder, what a moment it is for him out in front. Jack Holder, he's away. I made another good start and I was in front, I was gone. I remember looking behind a couple of times and you know I had a pretty good gap on him and I was starting to think, you're kidding me, I've, I'm gonna win. And uh declared the race, I think, 100% after that. There was no point in that uh, race that uh, the second place rider was going to pass Jack. You know, it was a really close finish, but yeah, still got second. You know, I was really over the moon for that, but um, deep down everyone knows who the real winner was. Jack, hey, I feel sorry for you a little bit, mate. Welcome to Tetro here in northeast Germany. It's round four of the SGP World Speedway Championship. Does he like going around the outside? Yes, he does. He loves going fast. Dan Bewley stamping his authority on heat 15. Superb speed, the speed we saw earlier on today where he just blew everybody away in qualifying with that stunning lap late. 
eight on in his final session too. It amazed us in Tetro that he went half a second faster than everyone, maybe nearly a second for most of the guys in the field in the in the qualifying. First rider to select for second semi-final is Dan Bewley. Please select your colour. Dan selects the red gate position. Next to make the selection is Jack Holder, and Jack selects the yellow gate position. You know, gate one, you couldn't really lose. I didn't feel like the way the track was. You know, it was almost uh, a golden ticket. But, um, you know, there's nothing uh, for certain in sport. And, uh, you know, I just had a small problem at the start. Oh, my goodness, drama. Oh, oh no. Can you believe this? Oh, he's going to be, uh, he's going to run out of time. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Has that bike just given up the ghost? I don't know. He's trying to start it. Makes him think it. It wasn't even, I wasn't angry. Or it was just, you know, disbelief. And then, you know, after five minutes, you know, all you can do is kind of just, you know, kind of laugh at it. Oh, that's a huge blow for Dan Beauty. You've got to feel for him there. Oh, he's best man on the track towards the end of the meeting. Oh, such a disappointment for Dan Beauty. I just need to, you know, get better in that final part of the meeting and then uh, start scoring some points. But, you know, 100%, you know, I feel uh, really good on the bike and uh, the team's awesome, you know, they're doing an awesome job. and. Uh, just down to me now to kind of put the pieces together. To be honest, before the GP in Melilla, um, I wasn't even sure if I should be racing on the Saturday. Good to see Bewley in his first final. Should have made a final earlier on in the campaign, truth. But uh, could he uh, get on the rostrum tonight? I had pretty much just a terrible two weeks. Just kept crashing every week, didn't he? Here we go then, final time of the night. Takes her up, and Vashlik's got away pretty well on the inside. Beauty trying to get the better of Dudek. Neck and neck for second place. Beauty's really winding it up, but the grip is not out there for him to do his usual thing. He's now looking at... There was a little root on the inside and it was pretty hard to catch it, but when you did hit it, you just had so much speed that if you missed it and went too far, you lost so much speed. So uh, he missed it, I caught it, and, and that was it really. Beauty hasn't been a final all season long and it looks like in his first appearance in the final, he's gonna win. What a night for Dan Beauty. Can't believe it. I don't even know if I was happy on the podium, just, I don't know, it being such a tough week and with just so much going on and uh, kind of relieved, but I don't know what, it, it was just a strange emotion, really just, uh, yeah, just pretty special to be honest. It felt, you know, completely different to, to anything else when I'd won before. of the night to decide who's going to be crown world champions here. Speedway World Cup here in Wrocław. <laughs> I can't really clap, sorry mate. Tense times, everything to race for here. Wrocław in the Olympic Stadium, away they go. Lambert's got there, Rasmus Jensen battling with Jack Holder. Jack Holder, oh, nasty. Yeah, awkward crash. Well, very difficult there. It was a uh, you know, pretty complicated sort of break that I did. I did a pretty good job. Um, and yeah, it's very painful. <laughs> we have a, a reserve replacement. Jack Holder will be replaced by Chris Holder after injury. Very frustrating. Um, uh, really hurt me a little bit, um, you know, because I was sitting third um, and I had a pretty good points gap between, you know, fourth place and so on. So um, I, that was very disappointing.
business. Just about able to hang on to that clutch lever. He wants a medal, that's what he's talking about. He slipped down as a consequence of not racing in Riga three weeks ago. He's in fifth place, but he's not far behind Martin Vashley. something like that happens. I didn't think it would be, you know, that painful and, you know, the first race to land pretty much straight on it was, uh, wasn't ideal. You know, I knew they were going to try and push me around a little bit, you know, though um, I'm injured, so they're going to try and, you know, if I go down, then maybe I'll be out of the meeting or anything like that. So I knew it was going to be tough. stuff from the Australian, comes round the outside, hits the front down the back straight, but Jack Holder defying the pain barrier, out in front, hit the deck first time out. What a ride from Jack Holder, that is pretty impressive. Yeah. Oh. and worse um, and you know I was doing good so I you know, just had to keep going with it you know I had my brother and my girlfriend in the pits you know just trying to massage it and do whatever they could. What a night it has been for Jack Holder so far nine points but he's in absolute agony we're hearing. Two races and was feeling good and just need one point from the last ride and to be honest I think I have the best gate and every chance to make it. To be honest, when I you know just maybe nudged forward a little bit and then launched into the tapes, just you know at that moment I was pretty gutted, you know. There we go then, the lineup for the last race of the night, the grand final with Schmarzik on the inside, gate number two for Jack Holder, gate three for Martin Vasilik and Freddie Lindgren. I remember going off the start and, you know, Bartek, he wasn't um, letting off and, you know, we touched in the first corner and then out of the first corner, you know, he was front with us about here. I guess as long as you can kind of learn from it and just, you know, be better in the future, then it's okay. But uh, for sure, you know, in the moment, it's tough. It's an amazing feeling. That one was definitely special. Um, you know, from what the pain that I had gone through, you know, leading up to it, I probably came back a little bit too early. But um, as I said, you know, I was, I was in the points hunt for a medal, so I had to do what I had to do. Yeah, 
I'm just getting better and better and it's only the beginning.